What's up, guys? I'm not Sean Stone. <laughs> What's up? Sean Stone, Jeffrey Ferguson. I'm Jay Bates, if you guys don't know. But we are in Sean's shop, obviously. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are we making? Today, we're going to make a cart for either the band saw, the table saw. So I always need a rolling cart somewhere in the shop, but I always use stools. So we're going to fix that today. We're going to make a rolling cart. So this is your top and bottom, 16 inches wide, 24 inches long. And, and then we got a shelf. This is a scrap piece, whatever we have we could use for, for a shelf. Okay, 14 and a half by 30. This is one of your side panels, one of your side panels, two legs for the side panel, two legs for the side panel. Okay, and we got a top and bottom. Top and bottom. And then we're gonna put casters on it. Casters. So this is a, like the top view and side view and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, crappy trimetric. So. Yeah, That's so just a, just a, a universal shop cart. Okay, so let's get started. And we'll, first thing we'll do is cut out the top and bottom 24 by 16 pieces. cart or caddy however you want to look at it you know I'm always needing something at the bandsaw you know put whatever if I'm doing say a clamp rack and I need to cut I don't know multiple pieces at the same time I need something to stack my pieces on and so this will give me something there or at the table saw if I'm making multiple cuts it'll give me something there because usually I'm using a stool like this to do repeat cuts or whatever. 
and since we'll have casters on this, I'll be able to use this in multiple places. Even at the miter saw, I can keep it there beside me and bring the pieces that I'm cutting just directly behind me and stack them up and out of the way. Some of the different tools that I'll be using at these different places, I can just keep all on this one cart and just whittle it around wherever I go. So this entire project came from uh, less than a sheet of plywood. It was two four foot by four foot sections that we started with, three quarter inch plywood with these uh, all butt joints, but the way that the geometry is made, there's a lot of racking, uh, a lot of conflicting geometry to prevent racking. So there should be a pretty sturdy cart when it's all said and done. So shop organization, I think, is one, a big key. So doing uh, one hour builds like this, getting a quick shop win, and also solving some problems that you have. This is a really good project for that because you can solve multiple problems that you have with a really quick shop project. So this is the bottom part that I'm putting on now and when we get the screws installed for this particular piece we'll go ahead and put the casters on and then we'll attach the shelf. We have to cut the shelf still. We don't we haven't cut it yet. So it just be should be one more piece to cut, attach it, and we'll be done. Pretty easy project. So it's a sixteenth shy. Okay, well that's good because one of those off pieces is is a sixteenth shy of sixteen inches. Good. All right, what you got that way? Quick and easy. Hmm? Quick and easy. Yeah. Nice little shop project. Anybody can make one of these in about an hour. A couple of screws and a sheet of plywood. Less than a sheet of plywood. Yeah, less than. This is, this, this is the leftovers. So this was a one hour shop build, very simple, uh, probably less than that. Less than a sheet of plywood. I think we mentioned that already, but uh, right now we've just got some things on here that we're just currently storing to see how it works. But we've got some bandsaw accessories, 
Uh, this will probably also serve as a current project uh, cart, so we've got some live edge cutting boards down there that get to be finished. And, uh, right now we've got some clamps and a bandsaw miter gauge. So the, the openness on the end will just allow you to hang things, or you could actually put shelves in there if you wanted to. Uh, this shelf here is just secured with a couple of screws from the side so you can adjust it however you need uh, for your particular needs. And then as the, we work on different projects, we just use the top and go with it. So Yeah, however you want. So uh, the cool thing is as you're working and if you have like a main work surface like this, you don't have to clutter this up with your material that you're not actually working with. You can put all the extra parts over here and still work with what you need. Or you can bring a bunch of stuff to the lathe or to the bandsaw or table saw, whatever station you're at. So it's kind of a multi-function cart. You can customize however you see fit to your specific needs. Uh, but it's a good foundation for you to build upon as far as customization. Yeah, so Jay Bates behind the camera. Thanks to Jay for uh, recording this build. And Jeff Ferguson. Hey. Good work. Uh, check him out on YouTube and Instagram. He helped with the build. And if this is something you're interested in, we have plans for this available over on the website, stoneandsons.net. Go check those out. And as always, thanks for watching.